Hey y'all, uh, I am Uncle Cletus of Marvin's uncle. For many of y'all, y'all know who I am. Some of y'all who've been following him a while, y'all knows who I am. Uh, Marvin's uncle and I, I'm stuck in Conway. It's snoring here, and uh, if I don't find something to do with my hands, I'm, me and him gonna be got into it real bad. Uh, so I just got decided to get in the kitchen and try to see if I could create something sweet here because they ain't got nothing sweet in this house to eat. So I'm going to uh, make up something because everything in this house is mixed match. Ain't don't nothing match. If they got peanut butter, they got they ain't got jelly. If they got fruit, they ain't got loops. If they got uh, <laughs> and I, I'm not lying, y'all. They don't. If they, if they got taters, they ain't got tots. They, nothing matches. So. I had to find some brown sugar for the recipe, so I got a half a cup of brown, or dark, and a half a cup of light. I'm just doing the best I can with what I got here just at their house. You know, just appreciative they allowed me to be here. Anyhow, I'm going to make, I was going to try to make a um, pineapple upside down cake. They ain't got no pineapples. What did I tell y'all? They ain't got no pineapples, so I'm going to just use what they got here at the house. They did have some nanos. Uh, so I'm going to use these bananas, and I saw some vanilla wafers in there. So I'm going to try to make a, uh, I guess you call it banana pudding upside down cake. I don't know. We're we just, we just going to see what it what it turned out being. I put on one of his aprons, Harris. If he's been to Paris, I've been to Italy. But y'all saw it on Facebook, so y'all know y'all, it must be true. But anyhow, um... Uh, I have a raw, uh, what am I going to start with? Okay, I got a big skillet, cast iron skillet, put half a stick of butter, half a stick of butter, not margin, not oleo, this is butter, real butter. And so I'm just going to uh, brush that around the skillet real good. So that this cake don't stick if I'm able to get it out the pan. Cause like I said, I'm just trying something to try to keep my mind together here until this weather gets good enough for me to get up out of here. So anyhow, a half a stick of butter. And I'm gonna cut up some bananas. I'm gonna cut up this banana. And I'm just gonna do slices of banana all the way around. So just like you would do with doing a pineapple. Now wait a minute, what do I, do I put first? I think you do the, Lord, I'm messing up. I'm gonna take these out of here. Y'all bear with me, I'm old and, and I'm trying. I'm gonna um, put the brown sugar down first. Like I said, this is a half of, you just need a cup of brown sugar. But like I said, they had some light, some dark. So this is a biracial mixture of uh, sugar. So as long as it's a cup, just kind of spread that around. Okay. Now, I'm going to slice my nanos all the way around. Uh-huh. What you say? I'll tell him about that in a minute. Y'all, he weren't. Uh, I'm going to finish cutting these nanos up. I'll be back in a minute. Lord, that makes it. I told you I'm going to tell him. Just give me a minute. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got the nanos cut all the way around. So all that was was the sugar, the brown sugar, the butter, and I cut up bananas, sliced bananas all the way around. So now I'm going to do, I'm gonna got, he got some vanilla wafers here. I normally get the uh, Jackson vanilla wafers, but, you know, like I say, I just use what he got here at his house. So I'm just gonna come up a little bit more. 
Now I can't tell you how to measure it. Just, just get a few cookies and crumble it up on it. All right. That's all. I'm just going to crumble up a few cookies on there. And then I'm going to work on my dry ingredients. This here is a cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, and the reason why it look a little dark is because it's that pure cane sugar. Mm. Now, he can't have other stuff to match, but then he's going to try to buy pure cane sugar instead of white sugar. I wish this dog gone. Pure cane sugar. Uh, so a cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of... Um, bacon powders, and a pinch of salt, okay? That's it. That's the dry ingredients. To that, I'm going to add um, a half a cup of milk. Couldn't find the can opener. Some of y'all young children don't know nothing about this. This is the way we used to do it back in the country. Pry it open on both sides. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna use a half. I'm gonna use um, evaporated milk, cause that's what I usually use when I make banana pudding. So I'm gonna put a half a cup of uh, evaporated milk, three eggs, Okay, I'm just gonna stir that up and incorporate it. And that's for the cake part, that's pretty much it. You ain't got no beater, I guess, cause I couldn't find it, so I just use this whisk, do it by hand like we used to. I'm gonna put a little vanilla flavoring in it. Pure vanilla. He said he brought this back from Cozumel. Y'all guess y'all believe he's been there too, huh? Well, anyhow, a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it for the uh, cake part. So all I'm going to do is pour that over. Right there. Okay. Gotta get all that out of there. I got nothing to waste. Okay, I'll get all that batter. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take my time, I guess, I'll see how this is going to go. I did butter it all the way around. I'm going to go around and put some more cash, some more of these uh, vanilla wafers all the way around. Hopefully with that butter brushed around there, it comes out all right. I don't tell you what. What this going to turn out looking like or being like? I don't even know if this stuff will come out the pan. If not, we'll just get a spoon and eat it out the skillet. Because from the look of their cabinets, they ain't got nothing, nothing to waste. Mm-mm, that didn't fell on top. Oh, well. I'm gonna... I hope they got some cheese. I, I love vanilla wafers and cheese. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that. That's country. Country uh, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Vanilla wafer and cheese. Yeah, that's some good eating. So I'm just going to crumb up a few more on top there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Let's see. Oh, let me get these over here. All right. A little crust on the bottom, huh? Because I know for some of y'all, 
I guess y'all think Marvin came out the womb cooking. He had to learn it from somebody. But anyhow, um, I wish this dog they got in this house would show move. Waiting on something to drop in this kitchen to eat it up. Eat greedy, just like Marvin. But anyhow, this is it. I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about, about 30, 35 minutes. I'm put that in the, and I already got my hood oven preheating. So I'm going to throw this in a 355 degree, 350 degree oven for um, about 30, 35 minutes. And we're going to see if this thing going to come out or not. Like I said, if it don't, we're going to scoop it out and we're going to eat it anyway. All right? All right, then. I'll be back once I get it out the oven. Yes, I tell him now. Mom got, y'all already know, he got a cookbook. Good gracious and life. You happy? Yo, this boy don't buy name brand nothing. Nothing. Most of the time, the picture, whatever it is, is it ain't even on the box or on the container. He had bought some, uh, some seal. Uh, what you call them? Seal Rice Krispies. Child, you know how they supposed to go snap crack a pop? He has just said snap <laughs> That boy, cheap, boy, cheap. Go, oh, that is, that is. Mm-hmm, oven is going off, y'all. I did it 350 for, ooh-wee. Boy, that look pretty. Look at it, y'all. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I did it for 300, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Ooh, it looks so good. Look at that. Now, the trick is going to be getting this booger out this pain. I don't know. I might have should have. Let me see what I'm doing. I may should have done a thin layer of bananas on top. Instead of trying to flip this over, it'll be a banana pudding upside down cake. But anyhow, how you ever turn out, these some greedy folks around here, it's going to get eaten. Believe that. Whether I slice it out this pan or flip it over and slice it, it's going to get eaten up. Okay? But uh, I'm just glad I was able to be here and do this. But I'm so glad, be so glad when I can get back up the road and, and get away from here. But anyhow, I'm going to let this cool, then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to invert it onto a plate and slice it up, and uh, let y'all see. I'm going to go in here and get me a little nod in, uh, take a nap while this kind of cools down for a few minutes, all right? I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, y'all. This is Marvin Williams with Marvin Williams Cooking Adventures, and uh, today I got a um, vanilla wafer cake that uh, has been made that I'd like to share with you all. And um, looks like it came out beautifully. Is that not nice? Um, it smells delicious. It smells wonderful. It smells of bananas. So it's um, vanilla wafer banana cake. So, Beautiful, just like this. I'm gonna try to invert it over here on um, this plate that I have and I'll show you what it looks like. Y'all give me just a minute to close this bedroom door. To, took a knife and I went all the way around the cake. Now we're just going to see if it comes out. Wow. 
Is that not beautiful? It's a banana. Um, it's a banana uh, pudding upside down cake. Isn't it beautifully made? So anyhow, as always, I'm going to slice into it in a little bit and see how it tastes. But as always, um, my recipes are God. Be creative. Make it your own. That is beautiful. Wow. See, it just came to the cool. Mm -hmm. Well, Ivy Dog, you got to be kidding me. But as always, his recipes, his recipes, dog guy, be creative, make them your own. I got to get home. I got to. I got to get home.